Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a green screen video using WeVideo's updated video editing tool. Let's go ahead and take a look here at my WeVideo account. And I'm going to create a new video using the full featured editor. And this is what the updated editor looks like. And you can see here, down at the bottom, I have a track for video one, audio one, and text. For this demo, we're just gonna be concerned with working with our video clips. And you can see here, I have a green screen clip that I've previously recorded. I recorded it using just the record function in WeVideo, but you could also upload a video that you have recorded outside of WeVideo, as long as it's front of of a green screen, it'll work. And so I'm gonna drag that down onto the timeline. That's the track I'm going to use. And now I wanna set up what it's going to look like in my background. So to do that, I need to add another track. And I'm going to add another video and text track. And let's just move this one down just like that. And I'm gonna move this one up. So I'm gonna have my video one, then video two. Now on video two, I'm gonna drag in some background images that I want to use. And you can see I have that one that I wanna use, and I'm gonna use this one as well. And I'm gonna click and drag to make them a little bit longer. And you can see here, I can stretch out this whole thing if I want to, so I have a little bit more room. But those are my two clips. Now, I wanna shrink this one down, make this one a little bit longer, and fill it in. Now, if I go and play this back, well, here I am in front of the green screen. And you'll see right now, I'm still just in front of the green screen. I wanna make these my backgrounds. So. To do that, click on your green screen track. In this case, this is mine. And we want to go up here to the edit function. Now, previously, you would have to right click on this track and try to bring up the edit button. Now, that edit button appears right here at the top. And we're going to go into keying, click on the little dropper, select the colors you want to cut out. So we're going to re replace all the green. Let's save those changes. And we'll see now I'm in front of the green screen itself. Now I'm going to zoom in a little bit so I can see these in a little bit more detail here. And when I'm happy with this project, I can play it all back of the green screen. And I'm going to point out that over here, is a cool building. So I want to fix those tracks so that I'm pointing to the right thing. I'm going to move that over. And now I'm going to match it up. Now that's gone a little bit too far, so let's move it back and move this one back over there. Okay. Now, I want to point out one other quick thing here in the timeline editor. When you're using green screens and you're using an image as a background, it's important to use images that are in landscape orientation. For example, if I use this one here that I have in portrait mode in my background, I'm gonna say trim to fit there, we'll see that I have a whole bunch of blank black space around it because this picture was in portrait mode. So you wanna make sure that you're using images that are in landscape mode when you create your green screen background for your video. Then when you're done, just click finish and you can save your video and export it as you need. For more tips like this, please visit practicaledtech.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel.